Excuse me. Hello, hello. Is anyone there? When you pop on, say hi. Well, I'm going to go go ahead and get started. If some of you guys pop in. That would be great. Um I'm going to check on my computer real quick to see if I'm missing anybody on the live. There it is. Okay, somebody's here. Yay! Say hi when you're here. Hello, Cheryl. Thank you for coming. Thought for a minute there I was going to be coloring all by myself tonight. Sorry, I was running a few minutes late. We're still having trouble with getting set up on the new system. Cooper was great. He did his little pre-graduation. It was so cute. It made me so happy. I can't believe he's so big. Well, what we have tonight, what we're going to do tonight is... I have a bunch of little pieces here that I already cut to make life a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. So I have this little bowl here that my hubby made for me that's helpful when I have a project. And I'm just going to put all these little pieces in here, including my die cuts, just so we have them all handy. And I'm going to show you what we're going to use. So we're going to use the II Captain stamp set. And I've chosen this girl and the little crab up here at the top. Can you see that cute little crab? So we're going to use that one and that one. I haven't decided on a sentiment or anything yet. I don't know if I'll have one, but maybe II Captain. I'm not sure. So we'll just see. Oh, you know what? I did decide we were going to have a sentiment. We're not going to use one from here. I, hi, Bambi. We're going to actually use one that my hubby made for me. So he cut me this word set called Stay Salty. Isn't this cute? It's two layered. It's just paper. And um, I already glued the top layer on because it's so, so small. Um, so we're going to use that as our sentiment tonight. So I'm excited to try that. And then we're, we're going to make it into a color decks card. So I chose our color decks card and I cut out two pieces because I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use. So I cut out this one that looks kind of like sand and this one that looks kind of like water or the sky with stars in it. So I went ahead and cut two before we started, just so I'd have it ready, but I wanted you to know this is the Color Decks Classic that's in the shop. It has these little um, arrows that we can use for decoration, so I cut out a few of those as well and put them in here so we can hopefully, you know, use that as well. This one right here is kind of like putting a tab on there so it folds in half and you can make a tab on your on your color decks card just in case you wanted to make sections or whatever I wanted you to be able to have a tag as well um, so the II captain and the color decks card that's what we're using and then I chose a few colors um, because I wanted to match the blue with the color in the sentiment so I went ahead and chose those colors already hi Michelle Hi, Renska. So I went ahead and already cut out a little bit of it just to get us a head start. So these are the images I chose for this, the little crab and the little girl. So I'm just going to use my memento and stamp them. And sometimes when they're really, really new, it's better to put your hands all over them <laughs> before you stamp with them because it kind of cuts back on some of that resist that's on there from manufacturing. And then I'm going to use my espresso to just 
rub that on. I'm pretty sure we'll have to stamp it more than once. You sometimes do when you first start out. Hi, Sharon. Yeah, it's pretty light. Probably hard for you guys to see from there, but it's kind of like a little bit of a light um, stamp. So I'm going to do it one more time just to get a really good solid line on there. And every now and then when I stamp with these for the first time, they sometimes, um, it over stamps. So I have to try it a second time, but not tonight. Tonight it worked out really good. So I'm super happy about that. And then I have my little stamp chamois, which we're working on getting back in the shop. And it's case. And I'm just gonna wet it with um, my Tim Holtz water bottle kind of off my desk so I don't make a mess. And then I'm just going to wipe off the stamp. I'm not actually going to take it off the Misty right now just because I don't want to waste time doing that. But I will right after the live. So let's get our little image here. And in a minute we can zoom in. I really like the this pirate. Um all these pirate stamps this month. I think they're so super cute and they're fun. They're little, but still you can fit them on your color decks card, but, um, but still big enough that you could put them on a regular card too, if you wanted to. So I just love that about them. I'm pretty sure you don't have yours yet, Cheryl, but I bet you're going to love them when you get them. Okay, so I've chosen my first set of colors, and this is going to be the skin colors. Try and turn them up right. Did you miss a release? You did. There was a release last Saturday. Did you not see it? Do you want me to show it to you real quick? Ooh, 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 ooh. I can. I have it all pulled out right here on my desk. So, the one that we're using tonight is called I.I. Captain. And we're going to use her and the cute little crab. And then we have Stay Salty. Look at that beautiful mermaid. Isn't she pretty? She's so much fun to color, and I wanted to do her, but I was kind of giving Jamie a chance to do her because I know Jamie really likes doing the mermaid. Then we have this set. Hee <laughs> hee. I love that sentiment. It says, I can't kelp it. I miss you. All these cool fish. It's called Fantastic. They're super cute, huh? And then the last one is the wonderful water lily with the word create and then the geometric design and then these are the water lilies and you got a little lily pad which is super great um yeah if you could grab it for me that would be great i might even use it and then the dies to match on the back i have the dies on all of them so there are they are all in the shop if you're interested you can check them out www.sweetsentiment.us just like right here we also had a stencil released and it's called nothing but net and if you do it this way it really looks like a, a fish net but if you do it this way it kind of looks more like mermaid scales so you kind of get two shots with one one stencil and maybe we'll use this tonight. I'm glad, glad my hubby thought of that because now maybe we'll just, maybe we'll use that on our background. That will be fine. You must go shopping after the live. Oh yeah, you, you missed the release. It, but it's in the shop. Oh, really? Bought one of the espressos and used it at one of the make and takes at the expo. I forgot it and left it. Oh, I know, Sharon. I need to, um, I need to, I need to talk to you. So send me a DM. 
so I know I gotta buy another one. Um, yeah, contact me because what color did you get, Sharon? Because right now we're very low on stock of espressos, and I need to know which which color you wanted, so we can make sure when they come back in stock, you can get the one that you want. Hi, Tammy. So we have our E triple zero the blue so like the royal blue or the teal blue there are two different ones the dark blue or the light blue okay so these are the colors we're going to use for skin e triple zero double zero royal blue okay great thank you E11, E13, and E04. We actually have another show coming up, not this weekend, but next weekend, and we have more espressos on order. But they'll go into the shop probably right before the show. And then we usually sell out at the show. So I just send me a DM and I'll make sure that um, you can get the one that you want. You would take any color. We have a couple left, not very many. You can uh, check it out on the website if you want, and you'll see what's sold out and what's not. Just go to www.sweetsentiment.us, and you can see all that we currently have available in the shop. But I understand. I'd be sad without mine, too. Okay. So we're going to start color, and we're going to color this um, little girl first. And then we're going to make her and the crab into a color decks card. So I'm going to start skin tone first. I'm just going to wet everything with the E triple zero. It's been a little crazy since we've been home, Sharon. I, I saw your message. I just have not had a chance to get back to you. But um, I promise you were on the list for us to get with very soon. Jamie's pretty sick right now, so she's, she's resting a lot so she can get better before the next show. And those of you who are watching the live last night heard that Cooper graduated pre-K tonight. It was so cute. They sang a couple songs and I didn't post any travel log. You know why? Because Jamie flew out like on Monday. She flew home at like, I don't know, four in the morning or something. It was insane early and we were so exhausted. And then the next day I left at four in the morning from, from Florida. So I didn't send any logs because I didn't have anybody in the car with me to type up the logs for me. And I, you know, can't do that while I'm driving. So I didn't really get to post any logs for that. And when I got home, I literally walked in the door. My hubby said, I'll unpack the car for you. And I was like, oh, thanks so much. And I laid down on the bed and that was it. I was out. I'm gonna put this darkest shade inside her mouth. I think it makes it look more set back. Yeah, she is. I'm not sure what's wrong, but um, well, I got congested on this last trip. I don't know if it's just the allergies or what's going on. And I was feeling a little beat down, but then I started feeling better and now she has it too. Do you hear Jack? You do. You do hear Jack. He's walking around in the kitchen right now making lots of noise on the on the linoleum floor. I'm just going to do um yeah, I sound I feel a little better today too. It's um it's about 15 hour drive, Sharon, and I was all by myself. I feel a little better today. I can tell I'm on the incline to being all better. Unfortunately, I think my, my bestie is not at this point. 
What I heard she was in bed all day today. So I hope she feels better soon. You would have went with me? Do you, where do you live? Do you live close by here? By Because I drove all the way from Florida to Texas. Do you live close by here? Or do you live in Florida and you just wouldn't mind traveling with me? <laughs> I was kind of looking for a buddy when I went this last time that I'd be able to drive back with. But um, my mom was out of town. Oh, you're in Florida? Too far to drive by yourself now. <laughs> Actually, I do. It, it was a little longer than I normally do by myself. So, um, normally by myself, I go to Arizona to see my son. And it's um, 12 to 13 hours. So, that's kind of a norm for me. But I was pretty happy with my car. I made it... Uh, to Florida or home from Florida with only two stops. I stopped twice for gas and that was it. So I was talking to Jamie before I stopped the first time and then I called her when I got back on the road so she knew where I was and then the second time I was talking to hubby so he would know where I was when I stopped the second time. So people had tabs on me even though no one was with me just a road trip <laughs> I like road trips they're a lot more fun when I go and Jamie's with me than they are when I come home and she's not <laughs> but this little girl's starting to come to life here I got a really cute um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my R12 so I can give her some little rosy cheeks before I move on to the last color. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that pink in there. And then it'll, it'll be lightened up when I use the last color. Hi, Joyce. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and color in the rest. And just kind of um, blend in those that cheek color just a little bit. I can tell I have a new nib on this marker. I, I love it. And then we'll blend this in. Oh, I like how her skin tone came out tonight. I guess I was feeling this one for sure. I don't know what color hair I'm going to give her yet. That's the only thing I didn't decide before we started. Hi, Amanda. I am going to go back to my E04 real quick and darken up the inside of her mouth. I like that to be just a little bit darker so it looks a little more inset. Okay, I think I've got all the skin parts. And then I think I'm going to use this um, R12 for her tongue. Because I think it'll be perfect. Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm done with the skin tones and I did choose some colors already. So the colors that I chose, we're gonna go ahead and start with those those small pieces first. So I have Y28 and I mean Y26, that's Y26. This is Y28. They look really weird. They almost don't look like they go together. And then I'm going to use a little bit of this YR23 and I'm going to try to get a gold tone out of that. You got your order and the color decks? Awesome, Amanda. That's awesome. I bet you were excited, huh? So Y28 
is what I'm going to use first. And I want to make this um, bottom of the sword in, in a goldish tone. So I'm going to start by darkening the darkest areas with this really dark rustic kind of gold. And then I think I'm going to also make her a little belt, the gold as well. And I might come back in and put some other gold in there, but for now, that's those are the parts I want to make gold that I know for sure, for sure, for sure. So here's Y26 is next, and I'm going to go over that dark, dark Y28, and then I'm going to just extend out a bit from there just to get that color in there. Oh, you're waiting to open till after dinner? I don't know how you can do that. I, I want to open right away. I get stuff. I got a box from Jamie today and I just wanted to open it right away. We're going to use this last color to kind of blend all that together and it, it's going to look at, make it look just more brighter gold. This YR23 looks really good with that and gives us a really good gold tone. I don't want to put a whole lot of it on there because then it'll kind of, you know, make it all one color and sort of wash it out. This one is significantly darker than the other ones, so I'm going to go back in one more time just for shadow with the Y28 and just do a couple of spots to deepen those up just a little bit and it'll just help make that look very shadowed you have a lot of restraint girl waiting you're way better way, way better waiter than me I'm going to do the sword next and I'm going to use C3 and C1 and C00. And we're just going to color that sword. I feel very dehydrated these days. Well, I'm not sure this one's dark enough. I might want to go a little bit darker than this, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to go darker than that. So I'm going to jump up to C5 because I want to put just a little bit darker shadow in there, like here. So I'm going to deepen that out just a little bit. And then I'm going to do a little bit right here. And this is where I'm going to put a little bit over here. And I think that will help. Back to the C3 real quick so I can blend out just a little bit because it won't blend well with the C1 until we blend a little bit of the C3 in there. There we go. And then we have C1, which has a lot of colorless blender in it, so we have to be careful not to wash out the stuff we just put in there. So I'm just going to extend out a little bit from where I put that last color. Where is it? Our next show is in, and I knew somebody would ask this because I can't really say it, Puyallup, Washington. They think that's a difficult name, but it's in Washington. So I fly to Jamie on Memorial Day, and then we drive from Jamie's house to Washington for the show. I think we'll have to go back in and put a little bit more of this, but we need it to dry before we do that. I washed it out a lot. But I might like that. I'm not sure. We'll just keep going and we'll come back to that if we need to. 
So I'm going to put my C's over there on the right. Now, I don't know if I want to introduce like a third color once I get started with this, but I think I want this girl to have red and blue pants. So I'm going to start with that first, and then I'll move from there on what other colors I want to use. So I'm using R29, R27, and R24. So I'm just using three colors for the red. And I think yes, we are doing Stamp Fest in June. Yes, we are. Yep, we're busy gals. We're also coming back in December to Florida for Lakeland, I think it is. So we're going to be on the Florida on the Florida side three times this year. So I'm just going to do her pants first and I'm skipping every other one because I want to make the other ones blue. And we went back to Facebook tonight uh, broadcasting from Facebook so I hope it's not freezing up on you guys. Here's R27. We're trying a bunch of new shows this year. You'll see me again. Yay! Only 11 miles. That's awesome. That's super close to you. It'll be our first time ever trying Stamp Fest, so I hope it all goes well. Okay, R24 is the last one. This is the lightest color. We're just going to kind of blend that last little bit of white I left in there. I want to kind of leave a variant of color so it's good there okay good I'm glad I'm super glad okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put the blues in this holder as well so that the reds get moved over and then I chose B06 04 and 02 and I just kind of chose those um, quick so if it doesn't blend I may have to add to it you opened your order! Yay! Yes, CKC in November. Lakeland, I think is what it, it is. It's funny because we have more than one show in Lakelands, but they're not, the Lakelands are not both in Florida. One is in Pennsylvania. It, it's interesting that they have the Lakeland name. Usually I see pirate pants and stuff with one color and then black, but I wanted to do it a little different so it matches the paper and the accents that I chose. Hi Karen. Thanks for popping in. Um, B04 is next. We're just going to extend out and add a little bit more of this color. It's the mid mid-tone color so we won't be leaving a lot of white but we'll leave a little bit these are very small areas so it doesn't take much to get them colored in hi Mary Jo oh it's so nice to see so many people popping in and out B02 we're gonna actually make a color decks card if you guys hang out with me for the duration of the video. It'll be fun. Okay, so I have to decide now if I want the shirt and boots and hat to be the teal color or the red color. I'm kind of leaning towards 
red or maybe I could do them black the boots and this shirt you love this release I love it too I can't decide black or red or blue what do you guys think I'm all open for opinions while you're thinking about that I'm gonna pull some colors for hair and I think I'm gonna give her dark brown hair Maybe with a touch of red in it. No, the red probably won't look that good against a red shirt. So I'll stick with brown. Hey, Gayla. Okay, so I'm going to do... I have nobody's given their opinion yet on whether you want the shirt and boots black or or the blue in here or the red in here anybody can chime in and we'll see what we get i'm going to skip up to her hair now this is e49 it's the darkest darkest color in my combination here and i'm going to do my shadow areas this is her hair sticking out on the sides All the way back on her shoulders. Oh my goodness, I missed her ear when I was doing her her face. I'm just gonna put some little strays of hair there. Blue shirt, black and white. So we have one black and one blue. Anybody want to be the tiebreaker? Unless somebody, the next person says red, then we're really in trouble. <laughs> I'm sort of inclined to go with the blue unless someone else says black. I like the black, but that's typical of what I would normally do, and I'm trying to do a little out of the box tonight. This is E47. A little bit more brown. <laughs> you don't care, you don't know how to choose. Okay, that was E47. Now I'm going to change up to E25 and then 23. So we're just going to leave a little bit of white in there to do with our 23. Some people would just leave it white, and that's a personal preference. If you like it that way, you should do it that way. You should do what makes your heart happy. That's what I think. Okay, E23 is the last one, and we're just going to finish up getting a little bit more color. And this is a really light color, so it's really going to going to bring that together, I think, and still leave the highlights that we have. So we're not going to heavy-handed color that in. I just want to get the white out because I, I'm not very good at leaving white in my hair. Some people do it and it looks super great, but when I do it, it just never seems to come out right. Your favorite restaurant choice. So maybe if I showed you what the backgrounds are going to look like. So I haven't decided if I'm going to use this one or if I'm going to use this one or if I'm going to use a combination of that. And then our sentiment is this. So... I was kind of leaning towards black because I wanted this blue to stand out, but I think I'm going to do it blue. I don't know. Let's just get started and we'll see how it goes. We'll start with the shirt in blue and see if it's too much blue, we'll switch. Oh, let's do the belt before we go on. Let's go back to the C's and do the belt. 
So C5. Just gonna give her a little bit of gray on her belt. And then C3. And then we're gonna hit it just one time to take the white out with C1. There we go. All right, so back to the B06. I'm gonna start with her collar. She's gonna be a bright pirate. There won't be any hiding for this pirate. Her clothes are going to be bright. She's going to be a fashion statement, I think. I'm putting a little shadow under her arm and where her belly is. And then underneath this collar right here. And then under here. And along the back to show round because the clothes are curved. And there we go. Now we have the beginning. Hi, Lynn. Okay, next one is B04. We're going to put it a little bit more because it's the mid-tone color. I am going to go over those buttons, I think, with a black um, multi-liner. So I don't really care if I go over them with the blue for now because the black will cover it up. And that'll work for me. So I have a question for you guys, my fellow watchers. I know that you guys also watch some TV. So there's this show out on Paramount called Rise of the Pink Ladies. Have any of you watched it? Oh, I'm, I'm looking for opinions on that show. BO2. And I'm just blending it out. Nope. Okay. I really loved watching Grease when I was young. I liked Grease 2 almost more than Grease 1. But this this one is nuts just saying nuts nuts nope nobody's watching it okay then it must not be that good if nobody's watching it or heard of it <laughs> i think i'm gonna make her headband red and then i'll decide from there if i want her shoes to be a different color or what so I'm going to work on her little headband with the darkest shade, which is R29. It's her little scarf or whatever you want to call it. Yes, me too, Amanda. Grease 2 and the motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Me too. I liked the music in that one too a lot. I thought they had good music in Grease 2. I watched it a million times when I was young. And I even watch it when I can catch it on TV now too. I really liked it. This one is a little crazy. Went to school dressed as Pink Lady for 50s day. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right? 
So we, one time for Halloween, we, we did grease at work. And I drew all the, like, drew and created the grease car and all the decorations to put around. It came out really good. We had leather jackets and shirts with things rolled up in the sleeves that looked like cigarettes. And <laughs> it was pretty funny. I almost feel like her little boots should be red, too. That blue is a little overpowering on her shirt. You want to watch the new show, but you haven't had time? I'm going to tell you, we watched... Do we watch two or three tonight, honey? Of the new show. I think we were on the third. Huh? We're in the third. I'll put in a second. We're in the third. We're in the third. I think we're on the third episode of the first season. And I was just looking for some other opinions on what, what you thought of it. Because, I mean, I almost turned it off in the first episode. Because I just, I was like, this is so not what I thought it was going to be. But now I'm just curious as to where they're going. So I'm still watching. But <laughs> I don't know if I would say it's my favorite show or anything. R27 is next. Definitely not as good as Grease too, and a little bit on the hokey side, and also it's supposed to be set before the first Grease, but huh? Four years before. Four years before the first Grease movie, and I mean, while they're trying to act like it's that time. It, they're not doing that great of a job. <laughs> but it took them like two to three episodes to even come up with the pink lady jacket. So it took a while to really get it motivated. I don't know. I might watch the rest of it. But sometimes I do it just because I don't have anything to watch. But Oh, she has little booties on. It's called The Rise of the Pink Ladies. Grease. The Rise of the Pink Ladies. So they already had the T-Birds when the show started. But they didn't have anything to do with the Pink Ladies. So I guess we're learning where the Pink Lady jackets came from. Although it's not really making a whole... It's not. They haven't tied it all in yet. I'm going to use my colorless blender real quick just to kind of wash out some of this and see if I can get a little more texture in this sword. Get to see Rizzo and Frenchie in middle school. Oh, that's right. We did get to see Rizzo and Frenchie in middle school. They've introduced some of the characters that would be in the first one, but um but yeah, it's interesting. That is for sure. She's cute, huh? I like her in all her red and blue. Okay, we have to do this little crab right here. And I kind of want to do him red as well, but I think we're going to switch up the red color just a little bit so he doesn't look just like her. Um, I think I'm going to go with, hey Meg, I think I'm going to go with R1714 and then RV42 on the crab. I also think I'm going to put in some, maybe some R46 and some R89. So we're really going to mix this all up. I need to have some pretty dark shades in here. So according to the tops of the caps, they would go in this order, but I don't really trust the tops. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you like my little pirate? We're going to make a color decks card today with it. Um, that I That's R89. I want to see if this R17 should be before or after R46. Nope, after. You never know. You never know. Okay. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to roll with that because I know how the rest of it will play out. Okay, so we're going to do this, this cute little crab. 
It's okay. I'm just glad you popped on. Oh, and before I forget it, I need to go back in with my E11 and color the other side of her ear because it's driving me crazy. That I, See, I missed it right here. And so it's sticking out in all its little white glory there. Okay. So I'm going to start with this little guy. I'm going to do some of the part areas where I'd want it to be darkest. And I like to put a little bit between these breaks in his, where his legs connect. I think that's just going to help give the dimension for that. And then I'm going to do a little bit inside these little clippers, pinchers, whatever they call them. I'm also going to do a little bit up the arm that's closest to the body on both sides. So we're just getting in some really deep dark red before we go into the lighter reds. Then I'm going to use R46. I think I'm going to give him a pink tongue too. Why not? Because I can. Right? Do a little bit of that top of that shell in this red, real red color. Also, I want the inside of his little claws to be darker than the rest of him, his claws. So I'm going to extend out from where I put that darkest shade. And I'm going to do a little bit on these claws, but not much. You just have to barely touch it with your, um, with the tip of your marker. R17 is my third color in the combination, so it'll be a little bit more of that than the other colors. So just a little bit in there. This little crab is so stinking cute. I like him going to start building it around his eye. I will be end up in the end coloring in his eye, but for now I think it'll stand out if it's lighter than the rest of his eyes. So I'm going to start coloring the top part of those legs. He looks kind of funny right now. Hi Stephanie. But he's almost done. Our 14 is next. I bet you guys can hear those printers working hard. They're pretty loud. Coloring in most of the eye now. But I'll go in with the colorless blender and lighten up those eyes. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a few minutes if you hang in there. Finishing off the feet with these, with this color. Yes, yes, you can hear the printers. They're running like crazy. They've been running all day. We don't run them when we go to sleep, but the rest of the time, they're pretty much running. So you see how this color really puts in a little bit of a peachy color and kind of lightens it up? I really like that. It's a really good effect with this RV42. And now it's going to lighten his belly too. Watch how this works. Gonna give it a little bit of texture, lighten it up just a bit, and then it looks really cute. And then I'm gonna take my colorless blender, and I'm just gonna go around his eyes just a little bit because I want it to like lighten them up, but I don't want it to make it white. 
I'm just going to put a little bit, kind of lighten up his eyes. And then he needs his tongue done. So we're going to use R12 like we used before. And we're just going to color his little tongue so it's not so white. Okay, I love him. He's so cute. And instead of sitting here and watching me fussy cut, I actually took the dies out. And we'll put the dies on there and then we'll run it through so we can put them on our color decks card. But I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing with the color decks, but it's going to be interesting because it's not going to be traditional. Because you know, I can't do anything plain. There we go. We have to get them taped down so they don't move when we go to cut them out, especially since we colored them. Oh, that would be so bad if we chopped them in the wrong place. So these dies fit on here pretty good, but they're going to put a little bit of a white border. Oh, don't move. Don't move. Gonna move it. There we go. All right, now I gotta die cut it, so give me just a second. I do have my Gemini back up. Well, you should see how bad my plates look. Oh, they are demolished. They are beat to smithereens but they still work and that's what matters. So I'm just gonna cut them, so bear with the sound for a second. If you can tell my Gemini doesn't sound very good, he's kinda on his last leg. But at least he still works as long as it keeps working. I'm going to keep using it. <laughs> He's following my never give up, never surrender. <laughs> She's going to keep on cutting. Awesome sauce. That went really well. Oh, this one's stuck. There we go. So there's our little crab. Oh, he's so perfect. Hi, sissy. Oh, he came out so good. Oh, she did too. Yay. And you guys didn't have to sit and watch me fussy cut like you did the other night. Super cute. Okay. So I'm just going to put the dies up there. I am going to save this because I can use it as scraps. <laughs> All right. So I, I had this idea. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to try it. So I had this idea that I wanted to use both of these colored X cards. I'm just going to zoom out a bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. I kind of wanted to use this one as the sky and this one as the sand or whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear it. <laughs> Scary, right? But it's just paper, so it will all be fine. So I'm just going to do this little rough tear here, making a little bit of like a sandy beach kind of. It's just paper. We can always cut more if we need it. Honey, can you grab me a brown? Um, oxide ink, please. There's a bunch of browns, so. Just any brown. Light brown would be nice. Okay, so what I thought was we could put her on here. This is my goal. And 
And she's going to be fighting the little crab. He's so cute. Oh, my gosh. And then I was going to put the Stay Salty on there. So I may have to move them around a bit because they're kind of too close together. I just thought this little crab would look so cute on here. But I also have, I also cut some of these little arrows. So maybe we can incorporate some of them as well. Thanks, hon. I like the antique linen. Good call. So I'm using my oxide antique linen. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush. And I really want to distress this area that I tore. It's a little bit on the yellow side, so I will probably switch to the pumice stone. Antique linen usually doesn't look that yellow, but for some reason tonight that looks really yellow. So we're just going to go back with some of the pumice stone and go over top of it. Just kind of give it a little bit of you know, distress look around the edges. I think it'll look really good that way. Plus it'll give it a little bit more of a, a look like they're on the beach. That's what I was going for. Okay, little guys. Move out the way. They're on the beach, but we're saying, stay salty, man, stay salty. I like to put it kind of like this. It looks like it's anchored in that sand, actually, which is cool. And then this little girl. And then I don't know if there'd be anywhere to put these, even if I wanted to, but let's see. I thought it might look kind of cute if we had them like up here. Just so we can get those more of those colors in here. That would look a little bit like a flag. We could give him a little board over here, but I wonder if we put this on here. I can't get over it. It's so cute. I don't know. What do you guys think about that green color? I'm not sure that's quite the color I was going for, but I think I want to switch these like this. I like that better, I think. And we'll put her there and we'll put some gemstones on it and I think it'll all work out good. So let's start putting it together. We have different pieces. So I'm going to use my Barely Art glue because it's super awesome. And I'm just going to glue the back. It's going to kind of strengthen the bottom of this because it's going to be two layered. And then I can get my starry sky and my beachy look. These little color decks cards are so much fun because you can do whatever you want with them. They lay right on top perfectly. I cut them out at the same time so I knew they would match up exactly the way I wanted them to. You're not really liking the green? I'm right there with you. I'm not really sure I'm liking it either. Let's see what happens if we put all blue. I think I'm with you on that. There is a little bit of that color in the Stay Salty, but it almost looks more like water if it's blue. I could use the other blue ones. Right here. 
I kind of like them overlapped, though. I think I'm going to stick with the overlapped. Maybe just a little bit like that. Oh, I think you're right. I think this blue is going to be so much better. I'm glad we switched. I think I might even bring her closer to the, the little guy over here. Better. Pirate one with the green is okay. So you liked it up here. Like this. Mm. I don't know about that. Maybe this way. Once we decide, we can just glue it together. Like this. I just didn't have an envisionment of, <laughs> I just hadn't envisioned exactly how I wanted this to be. You love the blue with the crab? I like the blue with the crab too. The blue is definitely going with the crab, for sure, for sure. And I think I like her over a little bit further. So when I used to scrapbook all the time, and I did a lot, <laughs> um, Sometimes I just start these and I just start gluing down the pieces so I can't move them around anymore. The ones that I really like. And then that way it helps me finish the project up a little bit faster than I normally do. <laughs> if I just keep sitting there moving them all around. So we're just going to we're just going to get that down and and keep going. So I think that'll all be good. Yep, blue with the crab. I think I'm all right. I like the blue with the crab too. So I'm sticking with the blue with the crab because it really stands out. I like the blue with the crab for sure. For sure, for sure. I'm wondering if I might play around with those. I haven't decided those for sure. But I definitely know I want this on there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue, get glue going on that. Okay. Here we go. I want to sit it, I don't want the words to be crooked, but I do want them to line up like that. That's what I want. Right there, right there, right there. I'm loving it so far. The super cute little words that my hubby made, huh? This looks like she's about to fight a crab. It makes me laugh. I almost think I might even leave that off. Or maybe I'll just put a little tiny one up here. Or maybe both little ones kind of want a little bit of that green in there but just not a lot so maybe we'll do it like this way hi joy maybe like this and maybe one lower than the other let me see if I can get a hold of these and we'll put her on top Hmm, you guys, I'm struggling with this. Maybe. I 
I like it. I really want that on there. I'm just not feeling it though. Are you guys feeling it? You love the little tags? Okay, we're going to put the little tags on there then. For sure. And we're just going to do like I just said a minute ago. We're just going to glue them together. And then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Because once we glue it together. Oh, you liked it diagonal. I did too. So I'm going to stick them together. Once we get them together, we're just that's just it. It is what it is. Because then we can't change our mind. <laughs> That's one way to do it. I'm telling you, if you've never done it like that before, there you go. Green behind. Gotcha. We'll put her on last because we can move her around anywhere. And then we'll put this one at a diagonal. I like these tweezers. And I'm going to kind of put it off the page, and then I'll just trim. It's almost like it's pointing at Stay Salty. <laughs> and then I'm going to trim off the edges that are sticking off the paper. <laughs> so I'm going to cut these off. And then I'm going to cut this one off. And then there we go. It fits perfect right up in that corner. I like it. That's the way you go. You just start off. Just keep doing it until something works. See, that's perfect. Oh, love it. Okay, so let's get our girl on there. And then we have to do some of our little detail work. And add maybe some little embellies. And then she'll be all done. I like her. She's going in my color decks. And do you guys remember when we were talking about color decks the last time somebody was asking what my color decks look like and I said, oh, I can't show you my new one because I left it at Jamie's house. But she sent it to me so now I can show you it's purple. I have a purple color decks card. I mean box to put all my color deck stuff in. Okay, let me grab some dots and I, I I'm thinking clear I'm not thinking that I want to do them with a whole lot of color to them because I think they're just I think if I put just the, the clear dots you'll be able to see it but it won't stand out too much sorry you fell asleep you're back you didn't miss it it's almost over but you didn't miss it I think I just want to put just a few of them around I like the little ones so little ones it's going to be you have three little ones on there those are cute I think I'm gonna put some over here as well maybe just two and then we have five on our page Oh, look how cute. I love it. I'm really happy. Okay. So, I got this box. This is my colored Xbox. It's purple. Isn't that neat? But these rails are really low in it. So... It's a little bit harder because these are up a little bit higher. So it's a little bit harder to put them in here and make them slide around. So what I did to fix that in case you have that problem with yours, because not all of them are the same height. So I'm going to show you an easy, easy fix for that. If you just take this and you just trim some of the bottom off, it will fit perfectly in there just perfectly look at that isn't that just the cutest it fits in there just absolutely perfectly so stinking cute this is what I got from the 
swap. It did the color deck swap. And then this is the other one. Yeah, I know why you like that card. I just solved all your problems. Aren't you excited? Look at that. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just going to use this one for just all my fun color decks cards. And then my other one, I think I'm going to switch into my, um, with the uh, color decks, with the color of cards in it. So I have all my colors in it. But I can make my own tabs because the die comes with a tab. So when you cut that out, and I think I have one right here so I can show you what it looks like. So it cuts it and scores it right down the middle so it folds over like this. So you can make it as a tab on the top of your, your colored X card. So you can either put it like this and put paper over it. You can put it as tall or as non or, or as short as you want, or you can just put it on the back. So whichever way you want, you can make your own tab, your own tabs in there. So that's why I put the tab in there. I thought it would make it easier for everybody to be able to use it the way you want it. I'm going to keep these arrows because why not, right? I just put them in there with my colored X card and we're all good. So there we go. You ordered that too, so you can't wait. Yay! So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll hold it up a little bit closer so you can really see it. It's super cute. So that little girl is really fun to color. I like that stamp set. I hope you guys like it too. I want every saying I could ever think of in something like this from my hubby so I don't have to stamp <laughs> sentiments <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for watching I hope that you really enjoyed it I'm really glad Facebook was nice to us tonight and everybody could see um, so I will be back tomorrow night with I don't know something else for fun so I'll see you guys then take care and have a good rest of your evening and a good day tomorrow. And I'll see you back here at 930 Central Time tomorrow night. Thank you. Good night.